Hello everyone. This is the final slide in this training. This is not the full list, but hope to cover major issues in vehicle dynamics modeling. Vehicle trim height has significant effect on vehicle performance. I have not seen the physical vehicle with a perfect trim height at the first shot. Sometimes trim heights came out beyond the requirement of 10 mm tolerance. Correlating the physical vehicle with a nominal vehicle model is almost impossible. Unsprung mass is also a key parameter. Vehicle Dynamics CA engineer should spend time to elaborate unsprung mass. Pushing mount travel stop should be comprehended. Otherwise, load paths will not be represented properly, especially in high load cases. Once simulation results show discrepancies with a good test data measurement, it is tough to debug pushing representation in a full vehicle model. Misrepresenting the single pass or dual pass time mount is a common mistake even an experienced engineer occasionally makes. Confusion in unit is another easy mistake, especially between degree and radian. Many engineers are not familiar with the conical rates does easily use radian units. I saw many cases where the conical rate of steering gear mounts are in Newton millimeter per radian, then the steering gear become very compliant and the rack travel does not steer the vehicle properly. Sign convention of product of inertia and powertrain inertia matrix changes the principal axis of powertrain. I know an engineer who used the principal moment of inertia with the principal axis to avoid this mistake. People mostly think the physical tasks are always correct. Understanding vehicle hardware has lots of variations. It is highly recommended to review variations in model correlation process. Tuning elements of bushings and shocks are supposed to have maximum 15% variations. It is best to characterize a part and install it in the vehicle hardware, but which is not the case. After a vehicle prototype is built, it goes through many steps to check and inspect the vehicle. Vehicle mass is measured at each step and load. I had once tried to understand why the vehicle mass goes up and down, although no change on the vehicle has been made. I later figured out that mass was not measured on the same scale, but on many different scales. You can easily understand the mass number from well-calibrated scale makes most sense. Misunderstanding data polarity is one of the common mistakes too. Shock damping force in tension and compression, LCA pushing force in outboard and inboard deflection are a few of them. This concludes the, this training. Thank you for your attention.